can tell. How did you manage to retape it better than it was when it was sent to you? Quick, it's at least something sharp. Hold on, 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 hold on. Solution. Solution. There we go. Solution. And right to the rescue. Okay. Watch back on. Right, there we go. I'm probably better actually holding this back a bit. Right, be careful be slow as you take this out, because the packaging is really good. Oh, is it good? Well, you can probably tell what it is. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's very protect. If you open a, when you get a protect, that's what it comes. That's How many protects have you got? Four. Well, I'm just saying that's what it's like. That's where you get a protect. That's what Archie told you. That's what Archie told me. Yeah. Rooty the Rota. Anything else in the box? Uh, you're joking. What's the fuck is that? Fire alarm. <laughs> 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 no, they're, they're assuming that it's not a real fire alarm. People running all around praying. Do we need to leave or are we all just sitting here burning? <laughs> That watch is on fire. Smoking. Keep going. Look at that. Look at this. Oh, that's cool. How amazing is this? Is anybody... Ooh. You can tell we're Scottish and don't give a fuck. <laughs> burn, baby, burn. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We have to do a TGV drum roll. <laughs> Hey. Oh, no, this is what you thought it was safe. Well, if everyone else is leaving, we'll get a better signal on the live time. <laughs> That's true. Hey. I just kind of record this. So we, we know, obviously, know what this is. Uh, and we have an interview coming up with the owner of said company. On tomorrow's oh, a bit slower. Oh, bit slower. <laughs> that is cool, actually. That is pretty funky. Game. Is there anybody watching this? Yeah, there's about 30 people. There we go. Oh, here we go. That is actually pretty smart. And this is, like, I mean, this is a nice watch, but it's not It's not a fortune. It's hundreds of pounds, not thousands of pounds. That is epic. Hi, Adrian. So this is the limited edition at Redcliffe. I think it's, is there a, I think it's a, is it 100? I'm going to tell you. I see from the yellow rain in Russia. That's all right. Let's not drop it. Is this a Costa? Close. <laughs> it's a Cuban Arma. Local anyway. Yeah, on the cups. Oh, yeah. Right. You've got to be contained for this one. Right. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool new tag. Better than the new Rolex tag, you'll get. It's not a tag. It's a fierce. It's fierce. This is a fierce limited edition red cloth with a galvanised style dial. Turn it all around this way. So there we go. Really nice strap, actually. Bring it a bit closer in. People can Whoa, see the dial. Extreme close up. Yeah, look at that. It's nice and thin. It is. Works. You can see the wee fears protect. Oh yeah, didn't even notice that. And there's pro waste, there is. There's one there. Look at this, Adrian. Look, this that's, how you, that's how you do branding <laughs> on uh, on <laughs> on leather lock straps. Oh, right. Go and show Adrian, pop your leather strap over here. What the, the lack of branding? We'll, we'll call the... this a prototype. <laughs> this isn't the fucking prototype. <laughs> <laughs> it's the real deal. Okay, uh, let's. <laughs> that box is very well done. It is awesome. It's a 38. Okay, I can't do this on the wrong way around. It's a 38, mm -hmm. but actually, I would say that that wears slightly bigger than I would expect a 38 to wear, which suits me absolutely fine because I'm used to wearing a 44 mil bag rag. Yeah. So, as a yeah, that is pretty good. Yeah, it's very nice. There you go. 
What's the style um, of font in that? Is it a kind of railway font? Eh, I think it's a throwback to uh, some original. I think Nick got it from some of the original fonts. It's a railway uh, track mm -hmm. style on it. The fear pet hands. At the red second hand school. I'm assuming it is limited edition. I'm assuming it's a limited edition of 350, and this is watch number 350. I'll need to check that. I do, however, know that there's maybe about 20 of these left. I don't think there's very many left. John's so saying about the... Chance. John's saying the second hand lines up, it does. Yeah, it's the markers very well. It, uh, it is a... Uh, I want to say it's a Ronda, but I might be wrong. It might be a... Yes, I'll try and get it straight on. It is very nice. Yep, it's, bang on. It's a few hundred pounds, so it's not going to break the bank. It's not going to be watched us around for much longer, as you'll find out in tomorrow's podcast. Well, it's the Fierce production. He was saying there was only a handful watches. left. Yeah, I think there's only about 20 of these left. And the production of Fierce Quartz watches is coming to an end. So once they're gone, that is it. The starting price will then be uh, the Brunswick, which is obviously a, a, an automatic uh, or a mechanical movement. Mm -hmm. I do really like the font on the hands. I particularly like the number four. It's super funky. And while this watch looks like it's kind of full patina, it's kind of got the look of full patina without you actually feeling, it's really odd, without you feeling like it actually is full patina. I think it's because they've done the look of an older watch by using this galvanised process for mm -hmm. the face, so it still feels like it's dead modern. Uh, okay, the, the numerals are... Uh, yellowed in a nicotine type app. And I'm assuming this watch has loom. I you think. Any, yes, I believe there is some loom there. I don't know if anybody do you, does. Anybody have a. Not going to be able to see it because it's sunlight coming in. Has this been recorded on a potato? <laughs> <laughs> Quite possibly. Anyway, there we go. Handmade in Belgium with a strap. Beard watch. Oh, nice that. And I have to say, the presentation box is brilliant. It's awesome for, for a few hundred quid watch. It's absolutely phenomenal. If the quality of this video was shit, it's because we're in a coffee shop. But we'll be uploading this later on, so it'll be in higher quality. That's nice. Very it's very nice, it does put a lot of effort into getting the... Yeah, and if anyone's wondering about who Fears are, I saw somebody asking. Uh, we've had an interview with Nicholas, who runs Fears, before, and we've actually got another episode with him coming out tomorrow morning, is not it? Tomorrow morning, yeah. Uh, so you'll find out more about this watch brand, and he's the guy that we posted on Instagram about. He used to work for Rolex. So we were quite cheeky and asked him some insider questions, and thankfully he gave us some info. Uh, let me see. Did Adrian pay for the coffee? I don't think Adrian did pay for the coffee. He paid for his own coffee. He paid for his own coffee. Yeah. So. That's cool. There we go. I like, I like uh, the whole. Yeah, it's a very nice presentation of it. Nice magnetic part. It's got a wee magnetic closer on it. You know, in um, cars, you get like little service. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, they got service stamps. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <coughs> I don't know how long you think you're going to own it for with that number of pages for service If you stamps. look at the first page, <coughs> you'll see an old advert that's been reproduced where well, they stated it was it's... unbreakable. <laughs> oh, that's right. Is this, is this the one whereby oh, yeah. it's the same price as yep. what it was, but just like. For yeah, that's, yes. that's right, he did that. So it's a few hundred quid, uh, it's just a special edition, and it is pretty special. I really like that. that this might, would make a good gift for someone for Christmas. That might not be going back. <laughs> that might not be going back. <laughs> Excellent. Cool. Anything else in here? Um, so. Any cocaine? Or anything? No, nothing no. else. No, no special mm. presents for you. No, no cocaine. at all. Good. Well, that's us. That's our little uh, live unboxing for today. We're getting quite good at this game. We'll you know check what, that you, out. You know what? Well, oh, that's cool. Very nice. You know what to show them? 
Your special, special limited edition. My special limited edition. What? Where is the, it? The, the shipper that I bought. Where, where is it? Where's it? No, no, no. It's away again. All it's right, okay. right, okay, guys. Uh, check out the podcast right, tomorrow. Yeah. We have got Nick, managing director, and fourth managing director fourth of the Fierce Watch Company, four. number four. So his podcast goes out tomorrow morning. Check it out, guys. Catch you later. Say bye. bye.